We are back with some more Google Earth shenanigans today. And we are still in the United States of America. This is going to be the final time we are in the US. Next, we are going to be moving on to Europe. We're going to be everywhere in Europe. We're going to do some Italian houses, Polish, German, French, Spanish. We're, we're going to go everywhere. We're going to go everywhere. Well, as many countries as we possibly can. But today, as I said, the final time we are going to be in the US and we are going down as south as possible as we can go. And we are in the state of Florida. And to be more specific, we are in the city of Miami. Miami, it, it, I can't really say that I'm not in Miami because it's kind of everywhere that we go. Oh, look at you, look, running around. Um, I just love some of the buildings in Miami, I really do. This here, look, look at the little flower store underneath of the bridge. What a clever place to put this, actually, because I would imagine these flowers don't wilt in the sun, don't they? I like that idea. What would I like to get? I'll have some sunflowers. They are my favourite. You can keep your pampas grass. You can shove that up your ass. And I don't really like b birds of... But I was just about to say birds of a feather then. Um, birds of paradise either. They remind me of dinosaurs for some reason. Um, oh, some gypsophilia as well, please. I'll have some gypsophilia. And that'd be it. Thank you. Sunflowers and gypsophilia. <laughs> Thank you very much. How much would that be? You're out for a little jog. <laughs> Honestly, I just love coming into Google Earth and just having a nose at what everyone's doing. I'm absolutely for it. I really, really am. Anyway, let's cross the road. Hold my hand. Chat. I'm just about to say chat. It's not a chat. Everybody, hold my hand, please. Thank you. I'm still saying chat and I haven't streamed in about six months. <laughs> um, the house in question, anyway, is somewhere up this way. I can't really remember the life of me where it is. Oh, that's pretty as well over there like this. Is that an apartment or is that an actual... Is that just being built? I think this might be just being built. Maybe that's a fresh new build then. We are building something modern today, loves. We're building something gorgeously modern. And it's somewhere up here. I just can't really remember where it is. We're lost in Miami. You know, and do you know what? I'd be absolutely fine with that, to be honest with you. Oh, is it this one? I think it's this one. Let me have a little look. Yes. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. I love the look of this. I love the fence. Love the palm trees. I think we're going to struggle at what world to put this in. Um, so I think maybe I'm going to try and do one of the beach lots in Tomerang, just because it's, it's got a tropical climate as well as what Miami has. So it would kind of fit there, to be honest with you. So I think that's where we're going to be building it today. But I just love it. I love the modernity behind it. I love the kind of like privacy sort of screens it's got on the window. Um, so we're going to try and build something as close as possible as what we can get to this. Maybe play around with a few platforms and stuff, considering this looks a little bit like it dips down into the living room area there from what I can see. Um, we can nose right into their house, can't we? Imagine if somebody lives here who like watches my videos. I'm always scared of that happening. Um, but I love this. I think it's a beautiful, gorgeous house. And I can kind of see from above as well. So let's have a little look at it from above. And you can kind of get an idea of the shape here. It's got like a lovely pool on this side here. A nice little bit of like patio area out towards the back there. And it's done that thing that I do in some of my long builds where it kind of gives like a little bit of a light well into the middle of the house. So it helps the house, I would imagine, just have a bit more natural light into the center of it. Um, but you can see what I mean with this like area here. I'm kind of like intrigued by this. I, I like the little like pop-off area. Maybe we could have that, but make it into an office or something. We're going to go on our own whim and just create something that we'll, we'll put our imagination to good use. Um, as always with this series, we are going to be using some custom content today as well. So without further ado, let's fly on over and make a start on this build. And so here we are, my loves, on a 30 by 20 in the world of Tomerang. Uh, I, I know it's not perfect, it's not the perfect world for it, but we don't have a very similar world to Miami really, do we? So this is where we're going to be building today. Yes, we are indeed. No, oh, sunshine on a rainy day. Moving on. So what we're going to be doing is a little build. <laughs> that is what we're going to be doing today. Just in case you didn't know, you know, I just like to keep you on your toes just in case you didn't know what we were going to be doing today. So I'm going to start off with that bit there. And then I'm going to go kind of like, is that down quite a bit? I think it is. Maybe it's like four. Mm. Yeah, let's go four. 
And then the kind of entrance area has got kind of a glass moment here with a gap and then a door. So it's quite wide there, but I don't want it that wide. So I'm going to take creative liberties and just do a two like that because we do have this kind of separate little office pod moment here. Um, that looks to be a different height to the rest of the house. Obviously, we can't do that with The Sims. It's not a thing. I wish I would love if that gets it like implemented into the game um, in the future. Very much doubt that, but I would love if that could be a thing. Um, if I can just do a five by five there then, like that, that can be the little office. And then we can whiffle in a shape going back here. I can't really see the side here, but I can see from above. So what we'll do is have this as the entrance area here. Entrance here, we could also maybe section this area off as the living room. The living come diner, maybe. I, do you know what I think I might do down on this level? I think I'm going to go for a medium height wall. Oh, it kind of takes away how it looks, though. I'm going to do a short hole, a short hole. I'm going to do a short wall height above it and maybe that will help it just because I'd love to play with the platforms in here. So I would like a little bit more height to play around with. Anyway, we're moving on. So we've got a living room here. We've got an entrance bit here. I could, hmm, I was going to put a toilet here, but I just don't think it's going to make sense being right next to the office. So we'll forget about that for the minute. I mean, I could do a toilet right here. Like, do a quite a long toilet there and have this as the living and dining area. And then we'll have a kitchen at the back. Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, I do want to get in that kind of, like, light well vibe that we're going to have through here. So, in fact, I'm going to shorten down the size of this. I'm going to bring you to maybe around about there, like that. And then what I'm going to do is connect in. Through there and through there. This will all make sense in a minute. It just looks very silly at the minute. Yes, it does. So the toilet's not no longer going to be there. The toilet's gone. They're going to have to poo out on the grass or something. So what I want to do is maybe drag this a little bit further forward like that. And I'm going to continue on around here. So living room's kind of separated off from the dining room now. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have the kitchen dining room out the back here. So I'm going to pull you up to around about quite a big one. I do like them big. We are going to pull this around. I think I'm going to go a little bit wider than that bit down there. And then bring you around to here. I think that's where I want to go. Yes. This can act as the light well moment. Kind of want to widen it though. I think what I'm going to do is have a three wide moment like that. Yes, that's better. That is indeed better. It's almost making me want to connect this bit in because what I would like to do is have a bathroom. So I think having the bathroom there would be perfect because this is going to act as like the hallway. I have a bathroom here, living room here that you can walk through into the hallway to the living, um, to the kitchen and dining area. I'm going to extend out one more like that. We're going to have a lovely pool here. I am going to drag this lot over a bit closer down here, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me have a look at that. Yes, I'm not happy with the height of this still. I'm really not. I, I definitely think it needs to be on a short height, which in turn will limit how high we can do our platforms. But we could still do one platform. That's the checkout. And then here, this one kind of overhangs. I'm going to start off by using this first. I'm going to plop you to here. Probably just want to do a one tile or two tile wide one. If I can do you to round about there, bring you over to here. And I'm going to flop you to there and then drag you to around about there like that. I think this could work. Let me see this. Yes, I think it could. And then I'm going to go in one tile and do the living area. I mean, we don't need two living areas, Aiden. Stop being such a silly bum. I'm going to do a bedroom up here. I think what I need to do first is just get in, just get in a rough square for now. That can all change because I think what I need to do is put some stairs in. Put some stairs in so we can see where this is actually going to come across or come up from. Do you know what? The stairs would work well either here kind of wrapped around or even just going up in a straight line here. I think having them wrapped around would make it a little bit more interesting. 
Um, I'm going to use these here and I'm just going to use them in a white for now. I'm not necessarily going to go for a monochrome look on the inside, but I do want it to be very heavily stylish, you know? But the only problem with this is it's all going to be glass. I think that'd be okay. This is all going to be glass, this light well area. That should be fine. And then it brings us up to here, which in turn does give us quite a nice little bit of space to flop in a bit more of a nicer shape up here. Well, not nicer shape, just a nice shape, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to go out on top of the office here. So this could be two bedrooms. It really could. I could even put a bathroom here. And then I could change the shape of this and have this maybe two bedrooms or even the, the actual main bedroom itself. I think I want to do that. I don't want it that big, though, do I? Well, they would have a dressing area, wouldn't they? So if I can do one, two across here and then have this, the dressing area that you kind of walk through to get into the bedroom, the main bathroom here. And I could probably fit two more bedrooms at the back of the house here. Smaller bedrooms, but two bedrooms nonetheless, you know? Right, let's try that. I'm just going to, again, map in a rough square. And I think we could make this into two bedrooms back here. Oh, perfect sizes as well. Look, in fact, I could have this one with an ensuite. That one could have an ensuite. And this one here can just be a standalone bedroom by itself, you know? So we kind of got a corridor coming down this way. I think that's going to work. It's a bit wider than what I wanted it, but with Sims and scaling is all off, isn't it? It's all off like sour fucking milk loves. So let's get a roof line on here as well. Um, do I want to come out this side with it? Maybe. No, I don't think I do. I want to do it all on one side. So I'm not going to come out as far as the bottom. But I am going to come out to there. We'll click that one on there as well like that. Let me see you. Yep, that could work. Hate the lighting in Tomarang. I, I just don't like the lighting in this world. I find it really strange. It's a strange bit of lighting. Uh, I'm going to bring you all the way down and I'm wondering whether, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this flap over here as well. Let me see that. Yes. Stunning. Okay. So for now, I'm going to position this house a little bit better because I want to get a pool in. I don't necessarily want to take it any further downwards. I think where it is, is fine. Unless I could do it one more. Let me see. Is that going to be too close to where I'm going to be putting a fence? No, not at all. And then that gives us enough room here on this level to put in like a lovely lap pool. And we can even loop this around this way and have like patio moments around here as well. That's a good idea. Let's get the pool in for markers, shall we? So I do want to get a fence around this lot. So I need to be kind of careful where I'm going to be putting this. I think that's fine. Yep, two wide on each side. Beautiful. Stunning. Okay. Well, I'm kind of happy with that. I think that shape's nice. I do. I do need to find a fence. Now, I know we haven't got anything or I have not got anything that's going to match this. So I think I'm going to have to make it myself using those little details that came with Eco Lifestyle. But let's see what I can find. Hmm. I'm actually going to go for this. I know it's not exactly like it, but I still think it gives a kind of, I don't know, a style to it. This like bamboo fence. I think I'm use this here with a mixture of hedges, like on the inside. I like this. I'm going to do it. I know it doesn't look, well, we're taking creative liberties once again, loves. I'm going to do a little carport there. And I think I'm just going to have that as the entrance to the house as well. We can pretend that maybe this like rolls back because the one in the reference image on that actual house is on like rolling casters. So we can just pretend that it does that, you know, and I am going to just swamp the whole build in this to act as privacy because in my head there's like sort of houses right next to this build you know so I know there's not there's trees but I kind of want to keep it looking like that I think this is going to work I'm going to go for it yeah just like that I think that will work for now so what I want to do is get the smallest half wall and put the smallest half wall here and also on top I think that's what I want to do I'm going to do it on top yeah I think I want to do that and I think I want to lift this up to meet that just on this bit I'm not going to do it on this roof here nor on here because I might put skylights in these ones so I'll leave it like that for now so yeah I like that so what we need now are some windows and some wallpapers and doors okay so we've got a bit of a deconstructed house going on here and I hope I remember what I did I probably won't but we're going to go and try and do it anyway aren't we yes 
So this was the only siding that I really liked for the kind of like black detailing underneath. And even doing this, I was a bit like, oh, I still don't like the black, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going we're gonna to absolutely do it anyway. And this is from Harry. It's from her coastal collection. And this is from Pierre Sim. It's part of his uh, mid-century modern collection. And this is just a lovely white concrete that I think looks marvellous. Um, no, I was going to paint this all black, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to just stick with what I had and hope for the best. <laughs> We're just going to hope for the best today. We really are. So I'm going to flop this all the way around to here. Same with this. There were a few things I had to change, like the sectioning and stuff at the top that I did with the half walls. Just because the skylights, some of the skylights would not have worked there where I wanted to put them. Um, and no biggie. No biggie at all. We are, we are adapting I'm working with what we've got, you know? Sometimes you've got to do that in everyday life as well. There we go. There's a little bit of knowledgeable moments with um, Aiden on a... What day is it? <laughs> Let's just skip over that, to be honest. I can't even remember what day it was or is. So we're, we're continuing onwards. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to do a white trim just so it's nice and crisp. And I'm also going to use this one here. Oh, no, I just used that one. Aiden for goodness sake get your shit together i also had to reduce the size of this platform down here so i could fit in these privacy screens everything was poking through the top and it it was it was not a vibe it was not a vibe for me so we're not doing it no we're not indeed there we go that wasn't as bad as what i thought it was going to be it, it, I, I did that kind of quick and i'm fine with that so what i want to do is get in some big windows here i'm going to do a big window there and a big window there as well and then I'm going to fill in these little gaps with these ones here and this is the only place I'm going to put windows into the main bedroom and um, we're going to have skylights as well though because I'm still in my head thinking of the neighbors next to me so I've gone about the whole build that way just thinking you know look at these wonderful skylights you've probably seen me use these in my dream home series these are from Harry part of her clean collection I absolutely love them so much uh, I'm enthralled by them. Yeah, it fits in with those windows on the side there nicely too. Beautiful. Okay, so we got that in. We're going to do this little cheeky window just here. This is where the bathroom is. Um, so that's going to be the only window into the bathroom. But I am going to go ahead and put a lovely skylight or maybe even a couple of skylights in here. No, let's just do one. Let's just do one there. We're going down to here. I'm just going to use this door from Spoons. And I'm going to use these windows here. These are from um, Little Dika. And I love them. These are part of the gr the beans. I can't remember what it's called. The bean. I can't remember. But it was one of his like collections where he made. like It was like a Starbucks, wasn't it? It is the wrong colour though. I will change that. And I did a huge seamless window along the living area. And I... I, I kind of second guessed it when I went back and looked at it again, but we're going to do it anyway. This might change. We're going to be putting greenery out to the side here, like a nice big hedge and stuff. So you're going to be able to see greenery from here. But at the minute, I don't know if I'm feeling it just yet. No, I don't know if I'm feeling that. We'll come back to that. We'll reevaluate that at a later date. So into the office, I do want this office to be laden with windows like it is in the reference image. And I did go for these little skinny windows and these as well. I did like a mixture of them, but I don't know if I want to do that again. Um, I think what I want to do is just use these all the way, maybe just on the front and back. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I do like that black trim now I put it up there. So it's a good job we did do that. Anyway. So we are, what am I doing? We are going to go into the kitchen and dining area. I'm going to use this lovely door again from Harry's Clean Collection. I love that it's got the open detail on these. I've been wanting to see a slidey door like that for ages. And we've got one now, so I'm absolutely made up. Right, I'm going to flop these all the way along to here. Big wall of windows on this side. Another door over on this side here, because I do want some kind of moment over on this area here. Um, so I'm going to put another door there and then more windows on the edges here. I think we have to use a smaller one here just to fill up that gap there. And I probably want to go around a couple more times here because this is where the dining room area is going to be. And I think I'm going to put the kitchen over in this corner. I don't know how big the kitchen is going to be yet, so I'm just going to leave it like that for the minute. 
We have got a toilet here that I've plopped one of these little windows in just to get in some natural light. I've plopped this window into the dressing room just up here. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I think that should be fine because I could do kind of like a walk-in wardrobe on this side in like a corner moment. And then open this area up here to access into the bedroom. We'll see what happens with that too. All subject to change. It depends on what I do with the interiors as well. And I thought these big windows here like flood in that kind of like area to the house quite nicely. So what I'm going to do instead is use the same size but the modular moment. And it's there. I think that's going to work. I'm going to get you into the middle though, my love. Yeah, but I am going to move you up one like that. So it kind of fits in line with the top of those windows yeah i like that not going to do windows on this side same with this um, bedroom over here we are going to do skylights into these rooms so it should be absolutely fine but i am going to put one at the back here because this wouldn't be overlooking anybody's house or anything you know very much feeling privacy you know we're going for privacy with this house and then the bit that i really loved was this hallway so let's get the grid on because this is what I did. These are, look at these skylights. I love them. And we did one, we did two, and we did three. And I'll show you the effect in a second. Let me get some windows into the hallway as well. So I'm going to do these up quite high and just make sure that we've got them in line with those skylights. I think that's the spot. I think it is. Let's go up one more. There we go. And then boop de do like that. And I love that look because look in the interior just looks really nice with the skylight there. Oh, I'm vibing with that. I think that's just the basic kind of like window concept that I want with this house. I really do. So as always with this series, I am going to go ahead now and get some landscaping done. But I'm going to leave in the speed build portion so you guys can kind of see what I got up to with my, with me landscaping. So I'll be right back. There we go just a simple little bit of landscaping that i've done and um, wrap some hedges around the sides you saw it all happen and yeah i'm happy with it i think it's rather nice i was thinking about putting a tree in this but i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it so next things ne next first things first actually what we need to do is i'm gonna go ahead and pick all of the wallpapers and flooring for the interiors and i'm also gonna pull out all of the stuff that i'm gonna be putting in the kind of backyard area it's not loads of space i did make the pool a different shape and pulled it up right to the edge of the actual lot itself which i like um but we do need to get a few things out here maybe a few areas where they could eat their food and whatnot and we'll get cracking on with that together so before we go ahead and crack on with the kind of furnishing of the outside areas uh, you can see that I've picked all of the wallpapers and windows for the interiors. We're going to go through and talk through everything. I did forget to say I did change out that big wall of windows here. I just wasn't feeling it. I think it was a bit too much for this small of a space. 
um, so I wasn't feeling it. So this is what I'm going to go for with the interiors. We're going for this. I really wanted to be inspired by the sort of seaside, really. So I've gone for like a natural kind of pebble tiled flooring. Remember, we're in Miami. So I would imagine this place would have tile flooring to keep help keep the place cool. Um, and the same goes with this kind of like, I love this wallpaper. This is from Pierre Sim. It is part of his uh, David's apartment collection. I really love this. We've used this in quite a few areas of the house. So I also changed out the windows here from the office area. We've gone for a bit more of a bifo door moment. So there's access out through that way. I kind of liked that. Um, what else? This is the kitchen we're going to be using. I think that would be a lovely kitchen in here. What else did we do? We've gone for some lovely tiles in the bathroom area down here. I love these tiles. These are part of um, Harry and Felix's new Shop the Look collection, I think. I could be completely wrong with this. I can't really remember where this is from. Um, and I've definitely not used them before, so it could be new. Uh, put this up here by the side of the stairs here. Put some stairs in. And then this goes up into the landing area up here. Uh, the bedrooms, or both of the bedrooms here, I've just kind of kept neutral. I think I'm going to keep these more along the lines of having them as guest suites rather than sort of having a children's bedroom and stuff. We're just going to have guest bedrooms in this side. And then for the bedroom, I've gone for a little bit more of a darker blue inspired by the sea. Uh, and I'm kind of vibing with it. And I've painted the ceilings all black all throughout this lot here and i just think it adds something to it now i don't necessarily really like black and white houses but we are going off with this reference image and we are making it our own so that's what we're going to do today um but yeah happy with it anyway here we go so outside first things first i thought these things here and um, these awnings from the Desert Lux pack, just added something here and is adding some shade here as well, which is what we kind of needed. I would imagine this would get very hot outside. So that's what we've done. Yes, we bloody have indeed. And then I'm going to put in two uh, loungers. I'm going to do one there and maybe one there, just checking that they're not cutting into the window, which they are. Let's bring you out and put you in manually. I'm going to flop you to there and then I'm going to get this little side table from the Desert Lux pack and put it in between them. So if they want to rest their drinks or whatever on them, then Bob's your uncle. Um, and I'm going to put in these chairs here. These little, We needed somewhere for them to come and sit. And I thought this was the best kind of area for it, for it here. And I was like, oh, is that a bit too close to the bifo doors? But you can imagine that would miss it quite comfortably and allowing the sim to come out quite nicely as well. I'm uh, going to flop in this little coffee table into here. Those chairs are not equal. What one needs to come out, what one needs to go in. You need to come in a little bit more. And then it frees up this space right by the pool for you to be able to walk down quite comfortably. This big banana leaf plant, I just thought would look marvellous over in this area here. So I put it quite near to the pool area. You can obviously see I've also picked the pool tiles. We've gone for little decas. Um, everything I need is on the grout tiles. And I changed the watercolour for Felix's Grove. It actually, Felix's Grove collection actually came with like a watercolour that you could change. That's what I've done. And because this is right off the kitchen area, I thought it'd be nice to have a little area where they could come out and just have their breakfast or something, you know, whoever's living here. Right by the pool, I thought that would be a lovely little look around there. And then over to this side, I thought this would be a great place to put in an actual dining area. So you remember we put some slidey doors here so they can access out the kitchen and come and have a little a little bit of a spot of lunch or a bit of an evening meal under the stars, you know, whatever, whatever you may wish. And I toyed with the idea of putting ivy up here. I also toyed with the idea of having more windows in here, but they both didn't work for me. I think this room's got enough windows without having adding more windows onto this space. It's just unnecessary. And then I'm going to put a barbecue out here as well. This is in the US, so I would imagine it would love a little bit of a barbecue. So I'm going to push this up as far as we can, put it up against the fence like that. And then barbecue is the moment. You know, I like that. Very simple, very clean, a little bit minimal, which is what I'm going to go through in this house or what I'm going to go for in this house, a little bit minimalist. But I do want to punch in some colour somewhere. Not massive amounts of colour, just some subtle colour moments, some subtle colour pops in an otherwise very monochrome space. So I think the area where we should start today is in this little sunken living room area. So let's do that. 
So, living room, here we go. Sticking in with that very much beachy sort of beachside vibe that I want to get across in here. We're going to put some bloody palm leaves up on the wall, loves. I'm also going to absolutely flop in this little chair here. I don't know why I'm absolutely flopping it in, but I am. I'm going to put it right there. I like the texture of this because it reminds me of sand. That was what was in my head when I put that down. I was like, that's like sand. So that makes me feel a little bit more beachsidey, you know? We're going to use the matching sofa as well. This is from Pierre Sim, this sofa, and I absolutely love it. Um, I, I cannot remember what the, it's David's apartment. David's apartment is the collection that it's from. And I can't push everything right in because we've got that sort of like, that big kind of beam down the bottom here, which I like. I think it's a nice vibe. I'm going to flop that to there. I'm going to chuck a little bit of colour onto the sofas by getting in some yellow and blue vibes. So I'm going to, nope, I'm going to pop you there. I'm going to get this blue one and flop the blue one there. And then I'm going to probably put another blue one on this sofa as well. Why not? You know, we may as well. It is a trait and a half, you know. And then we're going to get this other yellow one and just flop it up on the side there like that. And I wanted to get a little bit of a black accent in here. So I've gone for this lamp here, which is from Pierre Sim again. And I think it's from the Woodland Ranch collection. I just wanted something a little bit classic in here against some contemporary. And I kind of like that. Vibing. Um, I liked this as well. Again, it's sticking with that beachy vibe. I love the fact, the thought of having these kind of floating, kind of sort of pebbly looking shelves. These are from Harry's Brutalist collection. And I'm going to use these to kind of house the music situation. And then I'm putting two kind of curved edges here as well. A little plant pot on the other one like that. Or a little terracotta pot. There's no plant in it. And then this plant here is from Little Dika. I liked the thought of this as well because these remind me of waves. On there was thought, there was thoughts behind all of this. There was. I promise. Sometimes I've got logic in me. Um, what else? Oh, this lovely rug here. Oh, I love this rug so much. Um, I've got a similar one in my hallway. This is from Harry's Coastal collection. Um, what else have we got going on here? And this coffee table, which is part of Harry and Felix's new or Harry's. I don't know. Is it Harry's or Felix's? This one. Harry's new shop the look collection i love it again reminds me of the seaside it's got a big pebble with some, maybe some driftwood love that vibe um for the tv area we're going to do this floating shelf or floating cabinet from felix and then i'm obviously going to use the frame tv flop you into there like that and then put this little poof just down to the side here just in front of this bookcase that I have already put some stuff up in there. I'm not going to fill it all the way. I don't think it needs it, but I like the look of it. But that's nice. I think there's a lovely little vibe we've got coming across there. I love the contrast between the black and here. I'm finding it quite interesting. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vibes. So what we're going to get onto now is the main kitchen and dining area, I think. And I think what I'm going to do off of camera is this bathroom and this hallway area. I'm not going to laden it with stuff. Oh, I wonder what the hell this was then. A little matching side table for the single armchair over there. Um, yeah, not going to laden this with stuff. I'm just going to put a few little details around, maybe some photo, like paintings and stuff up here. Uh, but we are going to do the kitchen and dining room together. Okay then, my beautiful. So I have just laid into this area with a few little beautiful things. I thought a lovely little chair, like a little arm, well, a little sofa, a little hallway sofa looks really nice here. Again, given off the, I don't know, beachy vibes. When I see kind of like rattan, kind of like sort of woven furniture, it just reminds me of the beach. So I'm going to be utilising that quite a bit in this build, I would imagine. A little picture up here. We've got some palm leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's about it for there, really. I put a plant in front of here. I tried a few things. I even tried like a little side table and stuff. It just wasn't working for me. A plant was the one. For the bathroom, we've gone for a little bit more of a darker vibe with the bathroom, which I'm probably going to utilise upstairs as well. I, In my head, I was thinking of stormy seas in this. So that's why we went for that um, vibe in there. But anyway, we were on to the kitchen, weren't we? So this is what we're going to be doing for the kitchen. So first off, we're using Pierre Sims Rolskoff kitchen. I don't know how to pronounce that. Probably crucifying it apologies are needed um so this is what we're going to do we're going to flop you to there sink dishwasher off to the side there we're going to use the matching um matching oven we're going to flop that into there like that a lovely little three counter there and we're going to use the matching fridge 
love this kitchen. This would be one of my dream kitchens, I think. Um, if I lived in like a modern house like this, I think it would just be the vibe. And then I thought behind here, let's do something a little bit different. I'm going to use this like green marble splashback. Uh, I just like the way that this looks behind here. I tried a few colours. I tried some wood textures. But for some reason, this green one just came through to me. Um, again, seas. Thinking of all of the colours of the seas, you know. All of the seas. All seven of them. Um, and then we're going to use this shelf. But I am going to just put it in manually and flop it around about there. I don't know where manually has come from. I have no idea, but it's, it's becoming a prolific saying on the channel at the minute. And do you know what? We're just going to vibe with it. But a big shelf, I'm not going to do any cupboards in here. There's enough like cupboards and drawers and stuff underneath of here. And I like that. I think that's very, very nice indeed. And then over to this side here, we're going to put in a lovely island and we're going to do it in this position here and i'm only going to do a one strip of them as well so one two and a three there i think i've got it in the right position yeah i have and then this goes up here and beautiful and beautiful again matching uh islands to go with the kitchen but i just love the fact that with this island it's got the drawers on this side here so it kind of gives us a little like galley kitchen moment along there uh, and I'm fine with it. Now, I toyed with the idea of putting some stuff around on these windows here. But because I've already got stuff pushed up against the windows outside, it just looks a little bit too cramped to me. Um, so I'm going to keep that open. So this is like going to be just a big wide space here. Uh, and I like that. I do really like the look of it. Dining table wise, you can see I've picked out a different light for the dining table. I would have loved a bit more of a different light. I'm not in love with that light in here. I would have liked maybe a bit more of a wooden kind of longer vibe. But that's the only kind of long light I've got really. And the rest just didn't fit the theme. Um, so we're not doing it. We're going for a white dining table. Because I just think it matches in well with the kitchen sides. And then going for these kind of rattan sort of uh, dining chairs. Very nice indeed. And then just to bring a bit of greenery and a little bit of palm living. I'm going to flop in this plant here. And just put that off to the side like that. But you see what I mean? Just very simple, very minimal. But I do love the vibe of it in here. I very much do. Yes, we are thoroughly enjoying that. But that was it. Oh, and a bin. Sorry. I know someone's going to say, Aid in a bin. I did get a bin out. I just forgot to flop one in. Thank you. So I'll flop the bin off to there like that. Which, in turn, we do need to put an outdoor bin in. So I'm going to put one off to the side here. There we go. And I'm just going to flop it round about to there like that. Beautiful. Do you want to do it in a black? I think I do. Well, a darker grey. There we are. Stunning. Yeah, that's the majority of that area done. I like how it looks. So before we move upstairs, we're going to make a nice little office area here. So let's do that. So rather simply for the office, we're going to put some wicker bowls up on the wall. For some reason, I don't, I do not know. But again, beachy vibes are coming through. So I'm going to put three up on that side. And then we're going to do two over on this side like that. Uh, you need to come down just a little tad, I think. Let me see this. You need to go over there a little bit. Am I happy with that placement? Do you know what? I absolutely am. And really simple office as well. Nice little rug. Again, giving that, I'm going to say beachy about 25,000 times in this part. I really am. But beachy vibes, you know. I'm uh, going to do the desk uh, in the centre. In the centre of the office. I thought this light was a little bit too dramatic for in here, but the more I kept doing stuff to this uh, office, the more I liked it, including putting those kind of privacy screens up on this portion of the window here, just because you can kind of see right through this area. And I didn't want that. And then really simply just behind the actual desk area itself is putting in a little shelving unit. And I just think that looks lovely, especially with the skylights and stuff coming through and the bifo doors out to the terrace area. I'm very much for it. But yeah, really simple, really minimal. And that's it. That's it for the downstairs anyway. I also went ahead and put a parasol under, over the dining area outside as well. I just thought it needed it. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with how the downstairs is. We are going to move upstairs. What I'm going to do off of camera is I'm going to furnish one of these guest bedrooms, also the hallway coming through and both the bathrooms. And what we're going to get on together with is... The main bedroom itself, including the dressing area and also another one of the guest suites. Okay, may have made a mistake then. Did I furnish this room here? 
this room here with you yes and then i showed off the other room that i did and also the bathroom and then i did a full tour of the house as well and then i looked down and was i recording no no i was not so i'm just going to show you these bedrooms instead because that infuriated me and i do not want to do it again uh, <laughs> I, I first things first I changed this area here the hallway I got rid of the ensuite bathroom from one of the guest bedrooms it it would have made sense to have it but I just prefer the look of this this hallway didn't want to put anything in this hallway either I kind of left it very nice and minimal um, and put like a little black bit of black stone at the bottom here so it kind of drags your eye out to that wonderful view and I'm feeling it I am feeling it indeed. Now, this was the room that I did off of camera, and I really like the vibe of it in here. Nice, kind of rich vibes. Darker browns and stuff I've used in this house, um, in this bedroom. And I do love the vibe of it. Lovely bed. Very, very nice. Kind of offset the bed as well to the wall. I just, I liked how that looked. Um, Yeah, very nice indeed. Love that picture up there as well. I think that looks marvellous in here. And then this is the one that we did together. <laughs> Uh, so we went a little bit, I wanted a little accent of black coming through in this place. So I accented it by use of the lampshades and the bed and the ceiling and the light fixtures and stuff. But just a very nice, simple, minimal bedroom. And I think it looks rather delicious indeed. Uh, and then the bathroom as well. We did a bathroom over here too. Mind out the way, furniture, excuse me. So I kept the bathroom the same as downstairs, but I've just made it a little bit bigger to be honest with you that lovely skylight as well over the shower very much vibing with that okay so finally i'm annoyed you can probably tell finally here is the main bedroom so this is what we're going to do i'm going to pop the bed over into that orientation over into that corner there and then we're going to use these side tables again we're going for a beachy vibe but i wanted a bit more of a volcanic beach vibe in here that is my storyline purpose and that's what i'm going to go ahead with so I'm going to use those kind of like volcanic rock kind of looking pebbles. Um, I love those lamps the side on those side tables. I think they look really nice. Going for a bit of a mustard vibe, some wet sand moments there. Honestly, I'm just trying to get in any kind of beachy theme as possible by use of words. And do you know what? I'm failing, but we're still going to go ahead. Can't remember what orientation I had this in. I think I put this over in this corner here. I moved you to there. And then I popped the plant in between them like that. Uh, yeah, I think that was the vibe. And I put the I put a rug over in this corner as well. I'm using this rug to death, but I do not care. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I think that was the way that I wanted it to be. Yeah, happy with that. And then for I put a TV up here. I forgot to take that off, but I put a TV up just above the bed there, so they can watch it through there. And then the walk-in wardrobe moment. So. I put this one in the middle. This is the modular walk-in wardrobe from, I think it was it from Harry and Felix or just Harry or just Felix. I can't remember. It was from either of them. <laughs> that was a really good description. But I put that up there and then I did this little mirror moment there. And then I put this side unit underneath of the window area there. And then this little like ottoman so they can sit down and maybe get dressed or whatever put that there and just kept it very simple okay we're done now i'm annoyed <laughs> i'm not i mean why is there a plant outside where did you come from no idea that was a plant somewhere oh maybe that was in the office i think that could have been in the office actually yes it was it goes here how very dare you there you are lovely okay so here we are with our miami google earth <laughs> oh and i like it i do I'm not really keen on the black and white house. I don't, as I said, I just, it's just not for me. I don't know what it is about a black and white house. I just do not vibe with them. I would much prefer that in earthy tones. But we've got this lovely little driveway moment in here. This lovely little porch. We've got a lovely backyard area with a big swimming pool and lots of places for them to come and sit and chill and lie by the pool. A little breakfast moment there as well rather nice and then you swing around to this way the little barbecue then it, we, we've got ourselves a little bit of dining space outside this way as well with a little bin very nice indeed and we do have that like kind of light well that kind of floods the center of the house with some natural light as with the skylights we went a bit skylight mad in this place 
I've not put any curtains or blinds up. In my head, these windows, I've got like automatic like blinds that kind of like come out from the window seat. You know, those posh ones like that. That's the vibe of it. Anyway, in we go for the second time. So this is the entrance area. I do like how this looks. I am vibing with it. So you come in through here, you can wrap around this area here into the living room. Very nice, sandy, brighter vibe. I do like the living area, I must admit. And then you've got yourselves a full bathroom downstairs as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then you come through this way. You've got yourself an office in here too. Lovely skylights and everything hanging. Oh, I'm very much vibing with that office as well. And then you come through into the kitchen area. Beautiful place to cook some beautiful stuff, I would imagine. Doors going out that way as well. I forget where the doors are. One of those windows are doors. I don't know which one. I can't remember. Um, and then it's got doors, obviously, out into the back garden area or the backyard. And then you come up through this way up into the first floor. And then it's got a lovely hallway going all the way down here. Beautiful. And then you swing around this way. And this is what we've just left with. So we'll, we'll do this first. The main bedroom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I do love that dark wood against that blue. I think it looks marvellous. Does that need to go in one more? Uh, yeah, it does. That wardrobe was far too... How did I notice that? But it is it's far too much out. I bet somebody noticed me doing that. But there we go. Gorgeous. Stunning. Big skylight in here as well. Skylights everywhere. And then you come into the main bedroom itself. Uh, I do like the look of this like mustardy colour with that darker blue and everything in here. I do like that must admit and then i'm lost this way come through here and you've just seen these i've just shown you these but i'm going to show you again so we've got the first kind of like guest bedroom i do like the thought of privacy in here as well i would imagine you'd need to put the blinds down for people walking past there in this room but other than that i do like a bit of privacy and then through this way into the last one as well which is probably the one with the best views as well on this lot look at that oh I'd be very much happy with that but that's it we are done we are done with the us we are done with the united states of america yes we are indeed so i will be back with this very soon and we're going to be in europe next time and we are going to be in the country of france and i'm going to do a couple of builds for france i'm actually really inspired to build something parisian so we're going to build a paris style home or parisian style home and then I think I want to go down a little bit further into the south of France and build something down there as well. So if you've got any ideas of any areas to check out in the south of France, then please let me know down below in the comment box. I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching, my darlings. Leave me some lovely, stunning comments. And I will be back tomorrow with my renovation of the Tomerang starter home that I did on the channel last week. So that's what's going to be happening. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.